Yo, what's up, you guys? This week we're showing you the beauty dish. I got it uh, for portraits, basically. So I wanted to show you like a little behind the scenes selfie kind of shoot. I want to give you an idea on kind of two ways to really go about doing it better than probably just using it like that. So if that interests you, stick around and we'll talk about it. Now, if you're not familiar with this sort of like device, basically it is just a giant dish. It looks like a giant satellite dish with a big hole in the back that essentially accepts a Bowens mount, which then you can put your flash into. So all it is is a giant flash dish, basically. They call it a beauty dish because it's usually used in portraiture because essentially what it does is it creates a nice spotlight for your subject. And there's a lot of different things that you can use for it as far as attachments or uh, kind of sheets or whatever as far as diffusion if you want to use that. But essentially the basics are just this, that it's a front dish or it's a big, usually a wide dish that has a, a painted front and then the back has the opening to accept the Bowens mount and accept your flash. So that's basically all it is. But the next piece that I want to show you deals in a lot of variants because I'm going to show you some of the behind the scenes where I actually took some photos using a couple of different things that I wanted to talk about. But remember that this is photography and there's a lot of variances with that, whether it's the camera, the lighting, the setting in which you're in, your subject specifically, any of those things can vary changing the way your photo looks. So this is really uh, about trial and error, finding your way, finding your thing. But once you actually get all those things and you figure it out over time, it'll become a lot faster. But I just want to say that because... I don't want you to look at my settings and think about that that's the way that this photo has to be taken because it's not. I think this is just a way to take the photo, but there's a couple of things that I think will help you out when you're trying to decide like how you're going to use your beauty dish. So to keep that in mind, and let's talk about the next clips. So the first thing to think about is diffusion. So just like the softbox that's right above my head or the one in front of me that's actually projecting onto me now, you need a layer of diffusion a lot of the times because if you use a dish just like I have it set up back here, you're essentially just going to have a giant flash bulb go off and essentially your photo is going to look like this. Now, of course, I'm kidding because that's obviously just like a test photo that is essentially where I just shot it and tried to get that first like exposure to see where I'm at. So that's where I'm talking about a lot of variance because you're going to have to dial this in. But essentially, if you just use a softbox without diffusion, just like that one back there, you have essentially just created a giant satellite dish that is going to project light everywhere, which is not necessarily what we want because I think that's more of like what a softbox does and gives you a nice even lighting over everything. A beauty dish is a little bit different. You're trying to actually carve your sub. Object. So there's really two things that I've seen a lot of people use when they use these that help do that. So let me talk about those really quick. So there's two things I generally use the most and I see the most and this is one, this is a, just a layer of diffusion, this is just a little uh, essentially like fabric with a, an elastic band. This is very common. That softbox has one, like I said. The other one is this circle filter, which is a honeycomb, which is essentially, if you can see when I attach it to the light up here, you can actually kind of see that it doesn't necessarily cut down the light, but what it does do is stops it from going all over the place. This is like a spill uh, light helper kind of thing. So essentially what this is doing is it is a directional piece and this is diffusion. So if you put these two together, you now have directional light that is also diffused. So a lot of the times when I see people using one thing or the other, they end up just using diffusion. And in that case, what you're getting is a big giant spotlight that is now diffused, which is basically a softbox. Now, the other thing that I see a lot of the times is people just use just the honeycomb filter. And what you're now doing, if you don't put diffusion on that, is essentially you have a directional spotlight that is literally going to just blast your subject. You're going to look like like uh, like E.T. phoning home, you know. So the difference that I typically like seeing is when you actually have both of them together, when you put the diffusion with the circle filter. A lot of the times when you do this, not only do you get that diffusion of the actual uh, the, the scrim or whatever, but then you also get the directionality of the filter so you can really carve the light. That's actually how I went about making the thumbnail for this video because in a previous video what I talked about is using proper light with bokeh and using that low depth of field to actually create a more dynamic photo that when you take it into Photoshop and you do like select subject it gives you a better place to start from. So in this case I knew that's what I was going to do with this photo that I want to create. My favorite one was this one and I wanted to take that and use that as the thumbnail for this video because I think it really like helped accentuate the aspect that when I used both directionality and diffusion 
confusion with my uh, beauty dish back here, it actually allowed me to separate even further my subject from the background. Obviously, I'm the subject, but what it's doing is essentially with a low depth of field, it brings me to the forefront. But when I use directionality and diffusion with my beauty dish, I'm carved out because essentially I'm covered in light and I have a nice like layer of diffusion of light over top of me, but also I have directionality, which then splits me away from that background even further. So when you put those two together, essentially you've created a nice soft spot light versus like something where like in the first image where I showed you it's a big satellite dish and it just blasts your subject kind of like you would like you'd see like a flashbulb in like the 1840s or whatever so you don't want the 1840s look you don't want just a spotlight with ET you don't want just diffusion because then you could just use a softbox with a beauty dish it's supposed to be something where it's actually kind of like a spotlight but it's a very specific spotlight that actually allows you to like carve onto your subject and use that light kind of like artistic so it's something that's a little niche. I don't think it's for every kind of situation, but I think it's for a lot. I think it, it definitely works for portraits in my opinion. But that's all I have for you today talking about the beauty dish. I hope you've appreciated all this content. I hope that if you use one or if you want to use one, you'll leave me the comments down below. You'll let me know what you're thinking about. Like if you're going to buy one or you're thinking about buying one and you want to know where to go, I have an Amazon link down below. It's not like an affiliate link or anything like that. There's no money involved. I just put it there so that way you can actually see the one that I have, which has been sitting behind me this whole time. Beyond that, I hope you leave me comments just letting me know if you do get one and you try it out and you let me know how it goes as far as using these tips or anything like that. I would love to hear your comments and all of your feedback also if you haven't already hopefully you will hit me up on instagram tiktok and twitter all three of those links are down in the description below as well don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell notification and that way you get all the new content when it comes out and beyond all of that i'm going to hit you with my typical peace out and i will see you guys in the next one go check me out on all those socials let me know how this works out for you see you guys in the next one peace out